hello everyone welcome to this video so in this video I'm going to show you how to create this with swipe.js so basically I'm going to show you how to create these slides with these custom navigation buttons right, uh, using swipe.js if you don't know what swipe.js is if you go to swipe.js.com it is basically a modern touch slider which is used to create slides so if you're looking to uh, create slides in your project uh, Swipe.js is basically the best option to go with it is actually fast and it is also easy to set up I use it in almost all my projects that needs uh, slides um, so on their home page here you have an example of some of the slides you could you could actually create this is just uh, one example and it's a very simple example um, but I mean when you go to their demo section here they have a lot of examples right you could use it with view you could use it with react elements and they have the API section here you could go to get started to see how to do the installation right I have a beginner tutorial which I have recorded previously about how to set up swipe.js so if you want to get started with swipe.js you could watch that video it should be it should be linked uh, somewhere below so yeah you can you can check it out to see how to set it up and get started in this video though I'm going to show you how to add these custom navigation buttons usually when you create swipe.js slides uh, you would enable the pagination or you enable the scroll bar to be able to scroll through slides or by default you could also um, drag through slides by clicking and holding and dragging yeah basically uh, so I'm going to show you how to add these custom buttons to navigate go to next and preview slides right because it is very simple to set up I will we will jump into the code and I'll show you how to get these together um, it is very very simple and uh, very small um, piece of code to, to do this so I'm going to bring up my text editor which is VS code and I have a very simple react application here with um, these slides here so basically I've added about eight slides and um, I have installed swipe.js and imported swipe.js CSS I have imported the pagination even though I'm not using um, but I have also imported swiper and swiper slide from swiper react right. so these are the things you need to import from swiper.js and uh, basically you are ready to get started so I added these slides and that's because I am adding the images as background images so if I show you the app.css I have these um, styles here which is adding the images as background images basically right and yeah some few stylings going on here so it's just giving it a dark background and the button color so uh, yeah basically the focus is not about the styling I'm going to link the source code below in the description so if you want to copy my CSS and add it or use it you are free to do so but the focus is basically not about the styling um, yeah just wanted to show you how I'm adding the images so what you need to do that creates you have to create an instance of the swiper component and then add your slides here now this is where we add the button so I've named it swiper nav button which is a component which is a separate component so if I control click into that this is all the component is doing right so I have this div with two buttons which is navigating to <coughs> the previous and next using these methods I'm using use swiper from swiper react so this is the hook which I am using it actually creates a swiper instance and then you can get the slide previous and slide next methods on the swiper so basically you set it up like this and then when you come here you have to make sure you are using it as a child of this swiper component right so that is what you have to take note you are using it as a child of this swiper component 
and that is basically it that's all there is to do so once you put it here and you have the setup like this it should work correctly right so that is basically it that is how to create like a custom navigation buttons in swipe.js very simple to do so thank you very much uh, i'll see you in the next video